So, there was some cool movie posters in there, and I forgot, or I didn't want to, like, get them at, until, like, I had a first shift. So, alright, so, um, we need, um, we need the snake, and then we need the fish, which is there, and we need the snake, and then we need that switch, no, we can't, is that did it? No, that didn't do it. Whoa. Take it easy. Um, where is... is there's probably... There's a way to... F Let me look at this. Wait. I think I got it. Let me try this. It's been a little bit of time since I did this one. So let's try snake, snake, fish. Did that do it? Yep, that did it. Sweet. Yeah, so, uh... I'm gonna get some cool movie posters. And... Hang up even more posters in my room or even around my house. Which is nice. What's the full? There we go. Just p increase my pickpocketing. Sweet. So let's go down the tunnel. See what lives down here. What I love about this game is. Oh god! Those things scare the crap out of me. I hate these things. Is that the dungeons are incredibly awesome, is what I love about this game. That thing just got wrecked. Yep. So the dungeons are awesome. I love this. But, um, it should be interesting. Scroll of Fireball. Um, should be interesting because today's the 13th. Is that you, On the other hand, I'll say. Okay, we're just gonna go. So today's the 13th. Uh, and on the 15th, Star Wars The Old Republic is released for early access players. Oh god. I'm getting out of here. This I will not fight because this thing is massively huge. Because oh, look at that! Oh, I hate spiders. I really hate spiders, but I'm gonna kill it or try to kill it anyways. Yes, my I know my magic claw is low, but do you see what I am fighting? I don't want to deal with this thing. Ooh, destruction increased. Uh, I'm just about to level four. I didn't even kill this in the last time, so I don't even know what's in the loot, and it's dead. Sweet. Oh man, I hate those things. Just frostbite venom. All right, I'll just take it. Now where do you go? Where'd this guy go? Come here. Anyways, The Old Republic comes out on the 15th for early access. People who, like, pre-ordered the game, which I did. So, whoa. Oh, thank you. What's up, buddy? Oh, great. Well, he's decided to attack us. Uh, so we are going to do this. We are going to level up real quick. With some Magicka. And then we are going to go to... One-handed. Well... Can I? I can't. Can I? Alright, so we can't do that. Attack with war axes cause extra bleeding. Well, we're not gonna do that. I don't think so, anyways. Well, no. Let's get our one handed up one more level before we increase the perk. Well, speak of the devil, we just did it. Get off me. Haha! <laughs> I think not, buddy. So there we go. Ooh. There's that golden claw I wanted, Avril's journal, and I'll take an iron sword so I can dual wield. So we're gonna go back to the skills and one-handed, and all right, let's look. Can that's dual wielding crit damage? Attack with maces. Attack with swords have 10% chance of doing crit damage. We're doing that, and I could have put into that one, but oh well. Yep. So oh, I fell for that trap the first time. I'm not gonna do it again. Don't step on that plate. FYI, you will suffer the consequences of the swinging gate in your face. If you've seen my bloopers and glitches videos, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, so the Old Republic comes out on the 15th because I pre-ordered the game. And I am like fanboying like crazy because Andy got wrecked. Because I rem remember hearing about that game back in 2008. And I've been waiting for that game since 2008. So I am thoroughly excited that it is literally days away and not years and constantly wondering when is the release date going to be re happen oh jeez so i'm excited whoa what's up buddy that was fun there is a bunch of loot on these guys that i haven't picked up but i will like just mostly like gold but i will do that from now on and not go back oh this guy's got a two-hander that hurt get wrecked now now 
Okay, so what loot we got on you? You got a sword and gold. Gold. You know, it's not very much gold, but you do it enough and loot them enough, then it'll add up. So, and there's always draggers and uh, dungeons. So, oh. Yeah, that worked. Yeah. Dude, I'm just wrecking like a monster right now. I love how easy it is to start Skyrim compared to Oblivion, because Oblivion was a pain in the butt to try to start. And I mean a pain in the butt, I am not even lying. I spent many hours saving and, re and reloading and dying over and over and over again, trying to get past the starting points, and there's a dragon- no, that's not. That's just glowing mushrooms. But I will take them anyways. But I tried many, 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 many times uh, playing that game to get through to certain points, and it is incredibly difficult. And the same thing goes for Morrowind. Morrowind is very difficult too, mostly because there is no... The map is very, very uh, limited. There's no quest markers, so you have to really pay attention to quests, otherwise you're just going to be wandering around like an idiot. Or you can be playing, you know, through a wiki and... Um, hold on a second. I'm going to show you something else. As a heads up, get wrecked. Um, there was an option of coming out right there. But the thing was, then you're gonna have to deal with falling damage and possibly falling all the way down, which is probably where you think I. Oh, I don't think you need to go there, but that's the easier way. This is a safer way, but yep. So Morrowind, very difficult game. I never beat it. I might, I might have to do it, but I'll have to have like a wiki open to the left of me on a, my laptop so I can here. Let's save real quick so I can figure out where I actually need to go because it is incredibly confusing. So is this? It is the one the correct save so swello will go to town on this guy oh I hate restless druggers get a wreck death that's right dude I love the executions in this game I, I thought the executions were pretty fun in Fallout 3 with like the bullet time and then it just like destroys their head and it, like shatters their face and everything but the Skyrim executions are amazing. I don't even know how long I've been recording. I think I've been recording for almost a couple, at least a f full couple episodes almost, which is nice. Once I get through this dungeon, I'll call it a night for this recording session. But, um, oh, well, something's going on. Right? Oh, not these things. Wow! Okay, that hurt a little bit. Hey, well, there you are. Correct. So if there's anything specific that I should or should not be doing that you guys want to see, then leave a comment just as a heads up. Don't hesitate to leave a comment. Comments make me very happy. Passing my channel around makes me even more happy. And a happy person makes very qualified quality videos. Alright, let's just keep going. Ah, wait a minute. I might take that axe. I'll take the axe. I'm just gonna stick to the sword for now until I find a nicer sword. What do you got over here? We got a bridge, which leads to our destination. Yep, told you. There we go. Yep. That is how we know danger is on its way. I know these traps. Alright, open the iron door. Alright, so here we go. So this took me a few times to figure out, or a little bit of time to try to figure out how to get this done, but watch this. If you go to items, and you go to miscellaneous, you go down to the golden claw. You can move the thing around. How do I zoom in? Okay, well, alright, so, okay. So right there is the combination. We got bear, butterfly, owl. That's it. Piece of cake. So we got bear, butterfly, owl. So. Click that one, click that one, click that one. Bear, butterfly, owl, and then you activate the keyhole. Simple as that. These these puzzles aren't that difficult. You just need to know what you're looking for. So don't feel discouraged or like like uh, dumbfounded over the puzzles. Because they're not that difficult at all. So what do we got in here? Something's going on. Spiders? I don't know. I thought spiders were going to drive down on me. Okay, so, well, bats. Bats. Damn it. Alright, here we go. 
So right up here we have ourselves our first dragon shout. Now we can't use it yet because we don't have a dragon soul and we have a rest dragger overload we have to kill now. So we're gonna kill him. Ow. And he has his own dragon shout. So we are gonna burn him real quick and then nail him. And we're almost level 5 already. Get our one-headed. Oh, there we go. So we're gonna take that. We need that dragon stone. That dragon stone is a must. That's something you're gonna need for a upcoming quest. Wait, what was that? That is a great axe. That's something you want to pick up too. And you check in the chest. You got studded armor of the squire, which I will take. That and I don't. Well, I might. Let's look at that armor in just a second. So let's go back up to peril. Um, started armor of the squire. There we go. And so let's click. Well, this. That's the same thing, isn't it? Yep, I don't need it. Alright, so let's get out of here. So we're gonna take a trip up this. And right out about. Where is it? You press this. And there we go. We got ourselves a little secret passageway. The secret passageway? Say hole. Through the hole is Skyrim. And that's it. To Skyrim. Simple as that. We are almost level 5. Got a good chunk of a quest done. Oh my god. Let's see how long we've been recording. We've been recording for just about 30 minutes. So we're going to have time to turn this quest in. Um, I think. Well, I might call it short in just a second. So, just look at the textures at night. I mean, God, this game is just gorgeous. If you're still wondering whether or not you should be buying it, just look at it now. I mean, look at the moon. God, it's so gorgeous. So, we're going to take a trip down the water. Well, we might fast travel in just a second, just to save a little time. Yeah, we're going to go for just another minute, then turn that quest in, and then call it an episode. So that's two episodes out of the way. Pretty nice. Like I said, if you wouldn't mind, if you oh, we got a house over here. That's right. That's why we don't fast travel. Because you are gonna find random nonsense like this. All right. So what do we got here? You are. Ans and and I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. Hmm. All right. Let's take a look. Let's see. You got yourself some tankard. Uh, you got a dried phosphorium. Unlock Cellar Novice. Um, okay. Well, we are going to do this. Let's see. We're going to save real quick. So we put about a little over an hour into this and then do this. Aha! Aha! Well, old woman, that's what you get. Magic regenerates 50 times faster. Awesome. There is a, there's a reason why we killed a surprisingly figured old woman dear god wow all right so let's see what's in the cellar all right what's in the cellar i've never been in here before so here's something new i don't know what to expect next thing you know we're gonna be trampled oh so we have ourselves an arcane enchanter an alchemy table uh pothery satchel frost salt talk feathers blah 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 thank you uh iron dagger lantern and ooh, more stuff Hmm. Interesting. Well, ooh. We poison. Take that. Oops, I want that. Thank you. Alright, that's going to be an episode. So I will be back. See you guys in the next episode. Or, I, this could be... This could be a brief pause in the in a third episode, but I don't know. So, I'll be back. See ya.